Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Amanda Rosen. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my favorites for October. These are gonna be my beauty favorites, and I do have some odds and ends here. But before we do get started, please subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. Also, don't forget to click the post notification bell just to be notified when my videos do go live. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Before we get into the favorites, I do want to thank Ana Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring a portion of this video. As you guys know, I absolutely love Ana Luisa Jewelry. I'm wearing it like every single day, all the time. It doesn't matter if it is a video that I'm filming. It doesn't matter if it is a real Instagram picture. Everyday life, I am consistently wearing their jewelry. Not only is their jewelry absolutely gorgeous, they're also a sustainable brand. And and their metals are ethically sourced. This is not like your wham bam, thank you ma'am, I'm gonna have you mass produced and you're done. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the pieces that I am wearing right now. So when I had seen this three piece set here, I knew that I had to have it. I have another set that is more of like a two piece that's connected, but I wanted something that I was able to layer and kind of personalize this for me. The one that I have on right now is the Michelle set. It comes with three different necklaces is two chains and one pendant. This one is 14 karat gold plated and it's brass underneath. This one, you can wear the pendant by itself, you can wear the chains by themselves or you can pair the chains together or pair the pendant with the chain together. Whatever you have, you can do anything that you want. One thing that I love about this specific set here is that you can wear it with a sweatshirt if you wanted to. If you have like a sweatshirt set that you wanna wear, you could layer this and wear this on top or you can just wear the chain by itself. Or you can wear it with a blouse like I'm wearing right now or just a t-shirt. They're easy to put on, they're easy to take off, the clasps are really easy to work with. The next piece that I have is the Laura Bold chain necklace. Now this one is kind of like your updated chain, if you will. This one is 14 karat gold plated and brass on the inside. With that being said, with the holidays coming up, I do have a discount code for you guys in my description box down below. Go ahead and click the link. It'll take you straight to the website and you can go ahead and shop. The discount is buy one, get one 60% off. Do not miss out on it. All right guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and get into the favorites portion. I'm really excited to show you guys a lot of my favorites. This is literally going to be a full face of favorites. It's It may be a little long. Now, my skin has been so dry lately and I have started a new skincare routine so it could just be that. You guys know I already go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This one it's a no-brainer. If you guys have been on my channel for a really long time it's a freaking no-brainer. I use this every single time but one that I've been using a lot lately is the Fenty Soft Silk Pro Filter Hydrating Primer. I absolutely love this stuff. It smells really nice. It kind of has like a feel of a moisturizer with a little bit of slip like a silicone slip but it's not like the Smashbox primer. This feels really hydrating. It goes on really well. It doesn't pill or ball up or anything like that. It sinks right into the skin and it leaves my face feeling quenched. And then the one brow product that I use to fill in my brows I was very surprised with because I did not like this item at first. I have been using the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen in dark brown. Again the color is still off but I have been filling it in in my tail area and a little bit just right underneath here and up here. I really have been enjoying this. For my foundation, I have been using this one actually since I had purchased it. This one is like my everyday foundation. I have the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum in the shade 2 to 3 light. I have been grabbing this so much lately. If I need to put on a quick face, I'll go in and put this on. E actually, even if I'm going out, I still put this on. This is the one that I gravitate towards the most. The one thing that I love about this the most is that when you do put it on, it still covers up your redness. This also does have a nice luminous finish to it. I do also like the fact that you could still see your skin through it. And on top of that, it has hyaluronic acid in it to help plump the 
skin up for eyeshadow primer. You guys know that the Urban Decay Primer Potion is my holy grail. It's my go-to, but I have found a new one. It's actually not even new because I've had it for a really long time. This is the Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Medium 30. Now, this one, I would say, is a better eyeshadow primer than it is a concealer because this stuff, it kind of has the consistency of the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer, the one that you used to pump. It's kind of sticky, but not sticky. I don't know how to explain it, but that's what it feels like, and I feel like it works better as a primer than anything else. This does not crease. This makes your eyeshadow stay, and it still gives it the right amount of pigment that your eyeshadow needs. On top of that, your eyeshadow color doesn't change. Like it doesn't move around sometimes with other concealers, but this one, just try it and it's drugstore and really inexpensive. Next, I think I had purchased this in November, I think, or October. I don't know. I don't know when I got it, so please forgive me if it's not October. One of my most favorite palettes right now at this moment is the Jaclyn Hill Divine Neutrals palette. I did not think that I would be using this palette literally every single time that I go out that I film a YouTube video. I would probably say like the last two to three videos I've worn this. I cannot begin to tell you guys how amazing this eyeshadow palette is. Yes, it is very simple. A lot of people already have colors like this, but I can guarantee you, you guys don't have this formula here. This formula is probably one of the best formulas out of all of her collections that I have tried with Morphe. Every single time that I do my makeup, I use almost every single matte shade in here. The shimmers I use on my lid and they're freaking, mwah, they're gorgeous. They're so, so pretty. They're all so buttery and smooth. None of them skip. You get all the pigment that you want with literally this whole palette. There's not one shade in this palette that is not good. So if you have not tried this out, you need to go get it now. Next, I'm going to get into mascara that I use for the top lashes. This is one that I've been absolutely obsessed with lately. Literally everything in here, obviously I'm going to be obsessed with because it's going to, it's, it's a favorites video. So I had received this in PR not too long ago and I've been using it ever since. This mascara is by Revlon. This is the So Fierce Mascara. I have it in the shade Blackest Black. This one I was very surprised with. When you first look at it, you're like, Meh, I mean, the packaging's cute. You know, it's a mascara. But when you open it up, the applicator, it's very similar to Fenty a little bit. The bristles are a hard plastic and the formula is very, very similar to the Maybelline Sensational and the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. The bristles do a really good job of separating the lashes, but the amount of volume and lift this mascara gives me, oh my gosh. Like, I love my Maybelline Sensational, but this right here, I do not need to use an eyelash curler. I do have to go in with a certain tool that I'm going to show you next, um, but that's with almost every single mascara that I use. But this stuff literally does everything. I'm very, very impressed with this. The next item that I'm gonna talk about is a tool. I recently had to buy a new one of these because I did break my other one. This is the Tweezer Man Lash Separator. I use this to separate my lashes after I'm done using mascaras that typically clump up on me and this literally grabs every single lash. It cleans everything up. I use it on my lower lash line when it gets clumpy as well. If you guys have issues with mascaras that clump, but you like other aspects of the mascara so you don't want to get rid of the mascara, grab yourself one of these. You will not regret it and it's not expensive at all. Next, I have lashes. You guys already know this is nothing new, but I am just going to throw it in there. I did get a new pack of Ardell Wispies, not the Demi Wispies, but the Wispies they're my absolute favorite. The band is so thin that it's easy to work with and it's almost undetectable. I love the way that my eyes look with these lashes. The next item that I have is by Charlotte Tilbury. This is her contour wand. This one is in fair medium. It's beautiful. The way that this goes on and blends out is just perfection. All you have to do is squeeze a little bit out, just the tiniest bit. Put a couple dots right up here. I'll go up and work it in and it blends out so beautifully. You don't even really need a bronzer to go over it, but I like to go in with a bronzer just to make sure that this stays. The only gripe that I have about this is that if you push out too much product, it is messy, but it's still 
it works so well. It's so beautiful. All right, so as with every video that I have done recently, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the bronzer that I have been using so much lately. I have ranted and raved about this bronzer. So the bronzer that I absolutely love is by Kylie Cosmetics. It is her bronzer in Toasty. I love this. It is matte. It's not patchy. It's not one of those bronzers where it's too pigmented. When you put it down, you've got that spot and you can't get rid of it. I know that I talk about that a lot, but it really is a pet peeve of mine when a bronzer does that. This one definitely is not that. The packaging is cute. I mean, Pink is not my favorite color, but it is really nice, and it hasn't gotten dirty yet, which is also a plus. I love the consistency, I love the color, everything about it is gorgeous. And for blush, I did recently just get this, but I have been using it nonstop again, literally everywhere I go, every video that I do. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Blush in Batty on the Block. Now I said I would not get this shade again because I have so many peach shades in my collection. This is literally the only one left that they had at Ulta. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get it. I don't wanna wait to purchase anything. So I ended up getting this. And this, again, this is what I'm wearing on my cheeks. Now this one is a little different. The other peach shades that I have have a little bit more pink in it or a little bit more warm tone. This one right here is a little bit more of a cooler toned peachy coral shade and it's matte as well it's not creamy but it's not chalky but it is a very pigmented blush now we're gonna get into highlighter this one you guys have seen on my channel before this is the Becca highlighter in moonstone when I had first received this I was like this is it this is what the hype is about once you get through the first layer this stuff is gorgeous and this layers even better it is so beautiful the color it's it's perfect for my skin tone. It's not too bright. It's not too dark. It's a good right in between for me. I am more of like, I'm considered more of like light. It is really creamy. It goes on really well. It's just everything, literally everything. I cannot believe that this brand is gone. So I'm hoping that they bring this back with Smashbox as well. For lip liner, this is very, very affordable. I'm so glad that I picked it up. Thank you, Juicy Jazz, for freaking real. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in gingerbread. For this lip liner, it goes on more warm toned than you think. When you look at it right now, it looks like it could be more of a cool tone lip liner, but it's not. This is literally one of the best lip liners I've ever used. So creamy, it goes on so well. No skipping, no pulling, none of that. This is gorgeous. Now we're getting into the nitty gritty. We've only got a couple items left for makeup. For lipstick, this one, this lipstick has been around forever. Okay, like for freaking ever. And I have never tried it until like a month ago. So the lipstick that I'm talking about is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in Fairest Nude. This is one of the most perfect lipstick, nude lipstick shades I've ever used in my freaking life. Like Ever. It is so gorgeous. It's not too peachy. It's not too pink. It's like a good neutral right in between. I mean, if I were to have to say anything, it is a little bit more pink than anything. This lipstick, I cannot live without. It is my go-to. I cannot stop using this. Now, the only downfall that I have, I have two. And I don't know if it's just me. The smell of it is very much, just smells like L'Oreal lipsticks. Like, if you know what L'Oreal lipsticks smell like, it just smells like L'Oreal lipsticks and I'm not a huge fan of what their lipsticks smell like. Floral, but lipstick. <laughs> and also, this is already starting to crack back here, so the lipstick's moving around everywhere, which is really annoying, but I mean, it is what it is. Now we're gonna get into setting sprays. The one that I have picked up the most lately, so the one that I use for a fixing spray is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. This one right here is very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury one. Actually, everyone says that this is a dupe for that, and I totally agree with it. This does kind of feel like there's something on your face, like the Charlotte Tilbury one, but the Charlotte Tilbury one is much stronger of a feeling than this one is. But this one still holds your makeup in place. It smells really nice. It works as a primer. The stuff is amazing. I need to get a fuller size version of this because this and the Charlotte Tilbury one, I cannot live without. I am going 
to talk about tools right now. I have been loving this IT Cosmetics heart brush. I don't know exactly what it's called, but this brush literally is magic. I don't use my Il Maquillage one anymore. I don't use my e.l.f. one anymore. I use this one literally for all my foundations. I love the fact that this is a dome top brush. It makes it really easy to blend everything out. I can blend out my foundation so fast with this. The bristles are so soft and I think it's so cute that it's shaped like a heart, but it's also really nice that it has this triangular effect here. So if I need to correct in some areas, I can just correct like this or correct on the side like this. This is quality. Very quickly, I've been very much into clock clips lately. I don't know if I'm alarmed, sad that the 90s and early 2000s are back because I still feel really young. It's just, it's weird to me. I have been using claw clips lately. Now I have tried a whole bunch of different versions. I've tried Revlon, I've tried Goody, but all of them are too small for my hair. I do have a lot of hair. It's getting long right now and I just need a clip that is really big. All the other ones didn't work out. So I did just get this at the store. It is for extra long hair for thick hair and it also has grips on the inside. This is also by Goody and even though it's like not the cutest it literally works with everything when I come out of the shower I put my hair up with this if I haven't washed my hair in three days and all I want to do is put my hair up I'll put my hair in a claw clip and this doesn't hurt at all it feels really nice and it is a freaking lifesaver so if you haven't tried a claw clip or if you haven't used one in a really long time these are really in right now all right guys so that is pretty much it for my video I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up Don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel for beauty and lifestyle. If there's anything else you guys do want to see, please let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if there are any favorites that you guys have had in this last month that you absolutely love. I love trying new things. Is there anything in my favorites you guys have tried that you absolutely love or not? Just let me know. Also, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa to see what they have for their Black Friday sale. Like I've mentioned before, I do have a discount code for you guys in the comment section down below. Just go ahead and click the link. It is buy one, get one 60% off. You guys literally do not want to miss out on this. I promise you guys will love all of their stuff. And let me know if you guys get anything. I'm so excited because their jewelry really is amazing. And again, thank you to Ana Luisa for partnering with me in a portion of today's video. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. That is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And mother... I can't even talk. Please, please, please do not make all any kind. Please. Thank you. Luminish. Uh, when you put... Not tools. Okay.